Still getting it in your man, DJ Contemporary's most connected DJ. Kind of had a first today, man. I done had all kinds of singers here, rappers here, even a few dancers, but my first ever super producer, the man Timberland in the building, man. You good, man? Yeah, this, this is the first time. Yeah, this Come on. Is the first time. <laughs> first time for me or you? Yeah, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Keep it out, man. Hey, man. Let, let's before before we even go too far, because a lot of a lot of young cats be around here, and maybe they don't they don't brush up on their history the way that I try to. Can we just get a little bit about the whole start of Timberland, like back the Jodeci days, the things that you've been around? You know, we ain't got to take it too long, but just a little bit of history man, on Timberland. So like, I can see. Okay, it started from Missy. Right. Missy was in group phase. She hooked me up with Devonte. Right. I did work with Devonte on the. Fiendin album was a cry for you album. I forgot the name of that. Diary of a Mad Band. Right. Didn't work with him. The freaking you album. Then from there, branched off, left him and did Pony, Genuine, and so on, so on, Aaliyah. And, and the rest is just yeah, history. The rest is super producer now. Yeah, I mean, cause I, I think to me, I really accepted that title after. I can't, I can't, I would never say I fell off, but I was cold for a minute. Right. You gotta be cold. See if you can come back. That's that's the trick. If you can, if you can, be cold and come back. Right. And I think I did it twice. I did it one time when Swiss was coming up and everybody was Swiss making jigger and everybody was talking about Swiss, 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 Swiss. Right. Swiss is my dude. So I was like, it won't really like it's bad. Then they were like, I don't know, Tim. I don't know. And you I just came back. Boo. <laughs> this one was the bad one when Scott Storch came out. Right. And so everybody was Scott, 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 Tim is cold, he can't do it, he fell off, he whack, blah, 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 blah. And I was hearing all these people, these same people that do business with me, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the publishing people, I didn't say no names, but right. these same cats, they got a smile on my face, and I got to see them. They think I don't be knowing what they be saying, and I hear them. And I'm like, hmm. Okay, so then I came back and crushed them again. Now this time I said, this time <laughs> you wasn't letting them up. No, I said this time I'm, I'm gonna keep sitting on the toilet until I'm going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something I mean, because I, and and this is something that I've, I've noticed about you and just talking to you before. You take the producer thing really serious. Like, I, like a lot of people take it like you know, it's like throw it out there. Oh, so he's a producer, this and the other. You take it to a whole new level of how much it means to you. Yeah, because Prince and all them take it to that same level. Right. Prince said, composed, written, produced by. Gotcha. That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, people just can say, oh, I'm the producer. No, man, you just made it. I'm beat. You're a beat maker. You're not right. a producer. A producer sit there and can tell the artist, direct everything, how to do it, what to do. Make it all come together. Exactly. Take it apart. I'm like, oh, no, something ain't right about this hook. Something right. Something ain't right about, you know, let's go get this person. Let's, let's change this person around. Let's do this. Let's do that. That's a producer. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? To me, it was a lot of beat makers. Got, got away with making one. Well, I ain't, I ain't want to say that, and we ain't going to just go call the names because we're going to keep it positive. But, you know, that's that's just what I just how I felt about it, too. No, it's a lot of, of one-hit beat makers. Right. One-hit wonder. Well, now we come up, let's talk about the shock value. Shock value 2 is where we're at right now. Yeah. And and how did, how did we get here? We had shock value 1. You've been making all kinds of hits. It's just been bananas for you. What made you go back in and say it was time for Timbaland to, to make a new project? Um, I feel like our sound, me, Justin, and Nelly, our sound that we created was just getting not, I think it's, we need, they need to hear it. They don't need to forget it right away. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I need to come back with my, my shock value too. Like I did, you know, my volume one, I said, let me come back with this part two. Right. And let's make it pop. You know what I'm saying? So. I feel like it was time. It was like three year waits. I'm like, it's about that time. And these kids, these kids' time span is so short. Right. I'm like, man, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna be sitting too long. Maybe like Justin, what we got to do? We got to do something. Right. So he said, man, won't you go ahead and start the boat off? I said, all right. I said, I ain't had post to go, but you know. <laughs> you know it goes like that because I mean, y'all all it's like it's like a family though. It's like it's like you. Uh, he supposed to go first, right? Because he's the biggest star. Okay. He's the captain. And everybody's, you know, I'm a co-captain, so I need the captain. Right, to, to go out there? Because as an artist, I'm not bigger than him. Right. I, I'm not bigger than Anelli and them. I'm right. Not, I'm, you know, I fall right in the place. I'm third, the third biggest. You know okay. I, I keep it real. I'm right. Not, I'm not them. Justin is Justin Timberlake. It, it's no comparison. So 
I follow his footsteps. So okay. Hey, I, hey, I call him Big Daddy. Big Daddy, can you come out, please? <laughs> so co-captain can follow behind your footsteps. I can get all the shine the same way. Gotcha. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it works. I mean, and, but he don't want to do it right now. So that's cool. I don't blame him. Okay. So here he go. He's chilling, and he said he's going to rock with me. So that's cool. Okay. So how many tracks we got on the album? Um, 16 for the deluxe, and then the regular one is 12. Okay, so. and we got this. We got. A, I've got. I've gotten a couple of records, but one that particularly caught my attention was, and because I, I don't, I've seen you break some people. Believe me, I've seen you be instrumental in a lot of careers. But Drake has made a lot of records. So what made you say, I'm still going to work with this dude? Because he haven't had to meet that the record I did. Even see the problem with the record that I did. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Right. To me, the record I did is just about just. Is equivalent to the best I ever had. Okay. It's the best hook that I ever heard him do in a long time. Okay. Since that record. Right. So, because of the, I don't mean nothing at all. Since that went to number one. Okay. And it's so, and now it's falling down. It makes the, the other song not go, as fast. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's Drake, 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 Drake. Drake. Right. So much Drake. So. The, the, but when people hear it, they go crazy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I think that I gave him where he need to be when okay. he do his album. That's the lane I think he need to be in. All right. And I don't know what. Do you feel the same way? I, I feel that's his best lane. I he feel, sounds better on slow beats. Now, I feel better on slow beats is him. Yeah, I, I, I feel that. But I, I seriously, I mean, just without a doubt, I don't want to get too much like focused on him, but I feel like you gave him a certified banger. If you would gave that to him for his album, it could have let his album out there, he, too. He, when he heard it, he got confused and thought this was for his album. <laughs> he, thought, he thought it was yeah, like... Because that's why he made the hook like that. He, and he, he said, man... He sent it to me and said, man, I want to make sure it's a topic that you would talk about or do you you don't mind if I write this kind of hook because this is something I, I'm feeling when I hear this track. This right. is what I'm feeling. And I'm like, man, I'm following your lead. Whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about so, it. So let me ask you this then. At what point do you be like, well, Drake, this is for shock value? No, he knew because that's why he sent it to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he sent it to me because he said, man, he said, dog, I got confused and I was writing it like it was for my record. And he's like, man, I got to think about it. I was thinking about this Drake. So I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm making the hook like his Drake record. Right. So he said, so I must, I send it to you because I want to make sure you cool what I'm saying. Okay. So I said, you know what, man? I say anything, any topic you want to talk about. Right. I wanted to be Drake. I want to come on. I want to come in Drake's world. I right. don't want to come in my world. Okay. I want to come in your world and whatever you're talking about, I just take it. T tell me your perception. Or what you're saying, or what's how you see it. Right. And I could take it and make it my own perception. Okay.